Hello everyone, my name is Loco and it's time for some more Overwatch. Today we're going to be playing a game with the most peaceful robot in the world and arguably one of the most annoying characters, especially now that it's still early of Overwatch. Let's play Bastion. And we find ourselves on the attacking team on King's Row. Now generally speaking you will be playing Bastion more of like a defensive manner instead because he's really really powerful when he manages to hold a certain position. But it isn't to say that his... Um, you know, his skill can only really be shown in, in the defending team. You can definitely play this guy on the offensive as well, especially after we manage to capture A, at which point a payload becomes available and we need to escort that towards objective B. And actually one thing you can do with this dude is just sit on top of the payload and it will just keep on moving. So what am I talking about here? Well, obviously I'm mobile in this mode, right? But when I hit my shift button, I turn into a turret. I have like a... What is that? Like 120, 150 degree angle right here that I can look at and I can basically shoot extremely quickly, 200 bullets right there. Um, I can repair myself while in this mode as well with my E ability and you know you're just a turret with a massive shield in front of you that doesn't really die very quickly at all. So very powerful all round character I would say, he doesn't really have a particular weakness except when you manage to get up behind him, right? Like if you manage to sit behind him and somehow some way deal damage that way, uh, you will be you will be in a ton of trouble. But other than that, I'm just going to put my hit marker right here on the enemy's head. And we're going to immediately click. There's a Reinhardt, but we can break Reinhardt. We can break Reinhardt very easily. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Now, reloading is done relatively quickly. I'm just going to unseat here for a second and just move forward slightly. Do have, once again, 200 bullets available whenever we reload. I haven't actually gotten any kills yet. Wow, normally you actually can... Um, you can expect there to be a lot of kills when playing Bastion. Oh my god, he was so low. <laughs> Alright, it's fine, it's fine. We'll push forward. We'll push forward here. Now, I need to be careful, right? Whenever I use my shift ability, I need to be careful that I don't get nuked down very quickly. Actually getting a lot of help right there from Reinhardt, giving me that double shield. It does go through his shield first. And I'm just gonna self-repair my my myself back up to full health, right? That's oftentimes what self-repair means. They do have a Symmetra. Symmetra is a great counter pick against this hero. A lot of people are considering Bastion to be a little bit OP, but I consider him more of like a hero that needs to be counter picked against. And one of the heroes that is great against them is indeed Symmetra. Symmetra's right click when you hold it down actually goes through the shield, which, um, you know, as you may have already guessed, is the main point where my, um, the, the main strength that I got right here. All right, so we are pushing the objective right now. I'm gonna reload. Also, I guess I will be able to heal myself up a little bit. Uh, but I'm just gonna sit here at the distance, wait for my opponents, or for my allies rather, to grab the objective. Nuke down the Torbjorn, who is right around the corner. There we go. And as soon as the payload is available, I will use that instead. So once again, do pick up someone else here as well. Oh, ho, ho, the Reaper. Okay. So I'm just gonna sit on this payload here. This payload will move forward in a, in a little bit. I'll just switch up for just another moment. Just in case it's like a Widowmaker or something up there. But here we go. I'm gonna sit on top of this thing, right? Where is it? Come on. <laughs> Gotta jump first properly. Here we go. I'm gonna set up shop right here. There's also a Reinhardt that's actually surprisingly good against this dude. And now that I got my ultimate, I actually am in a very, very safe position. My ultimate will boost my health up to like 600 or something, and it immediately transforms me from this turret mode. So I'm activating it right now, and basically, as you can see, I will be able to stay alive that way. Don't know exactly where it was located. But anyways, um, it's one of the ways to stay alive. I like to consider it like an oh shit type button when playing Bastion, right? If you're in trouble... Like I am right now, I mean, there's no way I'm gonna stay alive right here. There's no way. But we ended up killing seven enemies for one death. I would say that's worth it. Uh, but when you're in trouble and you have your Q ready to go, you activate it, you almost triple your health, and you will be able to move around again. Whereas if you're, you know, getting snuck up from behind and you're in that turret mode and you first need to unseach and whatnot, generally speaking, you're gonna be dead before that happens. So, so far, we managed to do six final blows, seven eliminations, and one death. And we're actually ranked one in pretty much everything. So that's pretty good. Um, now, the second part of this map is a little bit more difficult for this hero because there are definitely certain alleyways where, um, you know, they can do a ton of damage. And they do have a Reaper, which can actually Wraith uh, right next to me and uh, be very annoying that way. But I'm just going to sit. I'm just going to sit right here. Do some damage. Kill that Winston. Very good. Reloading. But right now, they can easily get behind me, right? Oh, shit. Ah, I can't quite aim there yet. Okay, there we go. Very good. 
Trying to break his shield. Since I need to reload anyway. Okay. Should be down. There we go. And that's the most annoying thing for my team as well. So I probably could have gone for the kill right there on Soldier 76. But I felt like it was more useful for the team to instead kill him. Okay. Got my ult available again. Immediately activating it here. And I did get another 5 kill streak right there going for us. There is a turret up there. But since I will be out of this mode in a second. I guess I can just try and, you know, do some damage here this way. Okay. Here we go. Once again, I'm gonna sit here. Already gonna angle myself to watch the right. Ooh, almost got the enemy bastion to take me out right here. I may very well end up falling. We're 1 for one ing <laughs> Yeah, he got the first bullet off on me. Uh, there's nothing you can do there. There's literally nothing you can do. If you have a bastion versus bastion fight, and he gets the first shot off right there, the only thing you can hope for is that someone of your team helps you out and starts shooting his shield as well. But unseaching is not an option. Um, self-repairing also is not fast enough because he can kill you a lot faster. Uh, maybe I could self-repair for the last second and try and stay alive and wait for him to reload or something, but in general, you really cannot do very much about it. Oh, we see the Primal Rage. We see the Primal Rage. This is also not something I can actually deal with, and we actually fall into oblivion right there. <clears throat> I definitely do need to be supported, so to say, right? You can see, like, right there, I managed to do uh, two times, like, a five kill streak right there, right? Which is very nice. Uh, but if you don't have anyone helping you out, it's gonna be very difficult to finish it off. Like, you need someone guarding the back. And one thing you can do, actually, is um, to pick, like, four different bastions and sit in a little corner around each other. That work great on the release date of this, uh, of the beta. Because nobody really knew how to counterpick yet. Um, but as it is right now, people have started counterpicking effectively. You can go for Symmetra, you can be going for, um, you know, a lot of other heroes as well that just deal with this just fine. And actually, I will be able to deal with that just fine as well. Oh my god. Bastia, are you still alive? Okay, activating my ultimate. Getting the extra health. Do end up killing Johnny's quest right there, which is very nice. Also got a second kill right there. And just shooting as many of these shots as possible. And actually, wow. What did I... What killed me? Oh, they switched to into a junk red right there. Okay, I see. I was like, wait, what managed to kill me? He just managed to land one of those uh, one of those grenades perfectly. But we are escorting the payload. We're almost at the objective. Three minutes and 50 seconds remaining. One other great counter pick, by the way, that I've noticed myself when you're like solo queuing or whatever and you're not having a team to play with. Um, one great counter pick to him as well is Farah, since you can just go up to the high ground and be very useful that way. Also, when you're not in the turret mode, you're actually still surprisingly powerful. Like the, the bullets that you have are relatively... Like, they're not great. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're much much stronger in, in the turret mode. But it's not like you're absolutely helpless when just walking around as well. And turns out Junkrat is relatively powerful against this dude too. I think I should usually activate my self heal a little more often. But yeah, I'm just giving a lot of suppression fire right now. Just trying to kill whatever I can. Okay, we'll move forward a little bit. There we go. Bastion is right there though. Or Winston Rudder. Once again, having that Primal Rage activated. We need to either kill him or, you know, we're gone. Okay, gonna unseach. Need to get out of here. Unseaching is a risk. Generally speaking, I think I don't use it, like, often enough. Okay, we'll self-repair. There we go. Get back to full health, Loco, before doing anything else. Be a selfish nerd. Well, they're actually pushing us back. This is actually kind of impressive. Okay, we do have the infra side right now. Just very good. Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> Reaper was trying to do that, but you can see they're pushing the payload back. We need to push a little bit more aggressively, I think. One thing to note as well is that when you... Whew. Wow. Okay. When you uh, reload... Once again, him? Really? He's just shooting in the general direction. <laughs> he managed to kill me twice, just like that. Um, anyway. Um... Oh, right, when you, when you are in siege mode, right, and you're in a turret mode, and you um, run out of bullets, and you unseach and you re-siege again, you automatically also um, reload. So you don't need to reload before, you know, doing all of that other stuff. Um, you, can just, you can just use it constantly. Now, that is not how Reaper is meant to be played, sir. Okay, we got the first hit, I think. Okay, we're activating my ult here. Activating my ult, because Winston is being annoying. I have to kill Johnny Quest again. I know he's still there. Trying to break his shield. Oh, 
They get a lot of damage done on him, and he actually it does end up falling. Okay, very good. Wow, someone just fell into oblivion right there. Not good. Okay, Winston is actually pretty good against this hero too. He can jump forward, and there's no way I can actually kill this. Like, I need support. I need help for this. Uh, I'm just gonna walk back. Alright. I'm gonna sit here at the corner of the of the map, I think. We have only one minute remaining. We were so close to pushing for the victory. Alright. Obviously, there's overtime if you manage to get close to the thing. Okay, 60 seconds remaining. This is still definitely... Definitely our game, though. I'm feeling it. Wow. Okay, self-repairing. I'm gonna try and set up shop right here. Right. Wow, he is, he is not letting me go, man. Oh, guys, help! Please! Whew. Okay, Winston decided not to chase me for some reason. Okay, I see their Bastion sit right there. If I can break this position, that's very good for me. Okay, got another five kill streak right there. Okay, we need to get close to the payload, guys. Okay, they can definitely get behind me very easily, so this position is a little too aggressive to my liking. Okay, got their Reaper. We're out of time, guys. Oh my god. And I went on a six-player kill streak, trying to push it forward, but... This Junkrat definitely did so much damage to us that, you know, we ended up... I think we died four times to him, and we actually ended up losing the game right here. So in the end, as you can see, well, actually we're not dead yet. Wow, we're pushing, we're pushing, Never mind. We're pushing. Oh no, it's still not contested anymore. It's, oh no, I think they took everyone out. Those are still overtime, they're still overtime. I'm almost here, I'm almost there. Oh no, oh no, there's fire in the hole here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, I'm sitting here, right next to the turret. Trying to wait for people to come in. I'm getting killed completely from behind right there by Winston and Symmetra. It's a very unfortunate. I tried my very hardest, guys. I tried my very hardest. I sacrificed myself twice to try and push the payload forward, but it's not gonna be enough. But anyways, we ended up doing 21 eliminations, 30, 14 final blows. And actually, we were, we were first in final blows just a second ago. Uh, but we also got the most objectives, uh, most objective score, uh, just because we sat on that, uh, you know, on that turret for so long, or on the payload. Also, I ended up dying seven times. Uh, this one's on you, Loco, he says. Well, I guess, I guess we should have had a tank right there in the end. I felt like I did a lot of damage, but you can see, I was sitting on the, on the, on the payload right there, escorting me, and we were actually on fire, apparently, 74% of the match. I mean, I'm gonna upvote myself. Can we get an epic? Two more, guys, two more. Can we get an epic? One more! Don't think we're gonna get it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button. If you want to see more Overwatch content, hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.